Hello folks, I have rolled out my telescope and right now I am trying to determine exactly where I should put it because I'm going to try and go after the Eagle Nebula and it's, it's going to be appearing probably right about there of that tree. And I'm going to be facing other trees, power line, there, there's lots of obstacles here so I'm not sure plate so I'm not sure how many frames I might have to throw away it's gonna be interesting but you know, I, I want to get it in it's one of the lowest objects I'm able to get in the south so we'll have to see and by the way a couple people have asked about my tomato plants they are doing great they are getting big no red tomatoes but the tomatoes are coming in pretty good, if you can see some in there, right there. Okay, I'll see you later. Hey, okay, I am going after this Eagle Nebula, and it wasn't easy. It took a while to get past that big tree, and my guiding is horrendous. I'm almost afraid to look at it even right now. Uh, let, let's see what uh, one image looks like. Right, uh, you, you can even see right here, and this is a big problem too. Look at my mean readout here, 2688. That is more than double what it normally is. I should have been doing much shorter exposures, I just noticed that. And that's more than double because the moon is 99.9% .9 and it's very close to this target. So, <laughs> I'm... I'm probably overexposed. Let's, let's just take a look at the target anyway. I was wondering why things were looking so bright. Medium. So that's what it looks like when I look at one raw image. And I was playing around with um, uh, a few stacked images. I'll get to that in a second. Let's, let's be prepared to look at my guiding. 1.37, which is about double where it should be, where I would have hoped, but that, I'm not surprised when I point low in the south, that's that's the worst spot for me. It was like that with this CGX, it was like that with my AVX, my friend who has a CGX, he had the same issue pointing low in the south. And I don't want to change anything with my mouth to try and adjust it for what I'm viewing in the south because it guides very well everywhere else. So. Eh, screw the south. I'll just leave it as it is. So I'll be back in a minute to check out what I've stacked so far. Hello everyone. I am using B-Link to scroll through these images just to see uh, what they're looking like. And you can see my stars. They look kind of flat. And I guess I should have expected that when I'm pointing so low and my guiding isn't great. But, you know, well, you're not going to notice that if I zoom back out, but this is the more troubling part. Watch as I scroll through these. Uh oh, here comes an obstruction. Oh, look at that. I go out, and I've only got 13 images so far, but I wonder how much more is going to be blocked. So hopefully I can get past this obstruction and still get some good HA images, but I think I'm going to leave it at that, just HA. I, I don't want to waste another clear night on this target. I, it's just not cut out for me in this location. But I'll, I'll let you know what the final image looks like. Hey folks, I have had a chance to stack the first 13 images. Well, not the first 13 images. I threw away quite a bit of them. The ones you saw where the power line was in in the way, but I've stacked 13 good images so far, and this is what it's looking like, and it, it's a cool object, and I wanted to show you the center of this, and this is actually made famous by the Hubble Space Telescope. There's a famous photo that they've called uh, the Pillars of Creation, and if you ever look it up in Google, you'll see what the Hubble Space Telescope did in the center of this nebula. It's incredible. And this nebula reminds me a lot of the Orion Nebula with the bright core. And this is one of those times where if you wanted to use this, what is it, 
HDMI multi-scale transform. Watch what this thing can do with just the default settings. Wow, cuts through all that dust, so now you can see more detail in there. So sometimes you want to use this, this feature, but most of the time not. But I think in this case, this is one of those cases where, yeah, it, it might make sense for me to use it. I'll determine that when I, I stack everything and uh, see how the final image looks. Okay, that's all I got. See you later.